What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you one of the easiest methods to make money in Red Dead Redemption Online. Literally you can just stand there after everything is just sorted and you can just collect as much money as possible. I've seen a lot of people say that this is a glitch but it is not a glitch. What you're doing is getting a bunch of different game mechanics and you have found a loophole in all of these game mechanics and like I said you do not have to buy a fishing rod, you do not have to buy a bow and arrow like the cougar method, like just normal fishing, you will literally just stand there. Before we get into the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and also turn on notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload all my videos. For this week I'm going to be trying to get daily uploads and hopefully we can carry this on throughout Christmas and then going into the new year up until when I start university again. Anyway to do this method what you need to do is get a large animal and put that on the back of the horse. In this video I have gone for a deer, it does not matter what sort of quality the deer meat is as long as you have an animal on the back. It doesn't have to be skinned, it doesn't have to be anything, just get an animal, put it on the back of your horse and then go to this location. This location on Montana River is very good for fishing, but on top of that it is very shallow in some areas. So what you can do is actually put the deer meat that is on the back of your horse and put this in the shallow end. What happens then is fish will be attracted to it and as soon as they get close to the deer and then touch the floor at the same time, what will happen is the fish will die and you can just go around the deer picking them all up. Because the fish haven't been physically touched by yourself, been harmed in any way with shooting or throwing knives, anything like that, you will be getting perfect fish every single time. There are instances that the fish manages to swim all the way up to the deer without even touching the floor. For me personally, I would use a knife just to kill those. Those will be poor fish, but everything else that dies naturally will be perfect which means when you take it to the butchers, you will be getting the most amount of money that you can possibly get. The types of fish that you'll be getting is bluegill, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, rock bass, and red fins. The ones that you wanna be looking out for are the different types of bass because they will be selling for $2 each round about. Not every single one will be selling for that, but that is what you're looking at. Normally when I go back to the butchers, I can probably get about 10 maybe $20 just from the bass. Now I'm sure that when people start hearing about this method and other bigger YouTubers start doing videos on this, what you'll find is that a lot of people will be coming to this area. But there are other areas I did not want to put in this video because they're not too hard to find. There are a couple more on this river but you can also find other places where you can do the exact same thing and get different types of fish. What you're looking out for is the water just to be shallow. But you do not want it to be too deep, you do not want it to be too shallow. If it's too shallow the fish will not swim that way and if it's too deep they will swim that way but they won't be killed. So you've got to look out for that sort of stuff and you can find that pretty easily. All you have to do is just travel around. If you are someone that does a lot of fishing, you probably have a place in mind already. The money that I'm making from this is very good. It's probably better than the cougar method that I uploaded yesterday. With this, I'm probably making about 40 to $50 every 10 minutes. It does depend on what type of fish I track, but as long as I keep getting those different types of bass, I can get a lot of money out of this method. In yesterday's video, and you can go and check this because I will leave a link in the description down below, I think I ended on just over a thousand dollars and pretty much I've only been doing this method for a couple of hours so that just sort of shows how much money I am making literally just by standing there and watching things die. If you do get a perfect pelt for a deer, perfect carcass, all of that stuff, it does not deteriorate the deer itself by keeping it in the water. So what you can do is when you finish collecting as many fish as possible and it's time for you to go and sell everything at the butchers, you can take the deer with you as well and then go and sell that and you'll still be making a lot more money on top of the fact that you're making a ton of money just from the fish. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.